Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to cover a different deck for you guys. So this deck is absolutely special to me. I absolutely love this deck. Um, so this is the Rainbow Warrior Awaken, your journey of guidance and healing. It has a, it's 44 cards. It's a 44 card deck and guidebook uh, by Mara Berendt. Friedman and Trinity Harris. Totally did not say those names correctly. I apologize, but honestly, this this deck is absolutely amazing. It is an incredibly positive deck. It it really helps me do my meditations in the morning, do my gratitudes in the morning, and just kind of set my intentions for the day. Um, I like to do these in the morning. And I'll do a reading for you guys today, uh, just so you kind of get, you know, the feeling of these cards. I'll show you all of the cards, of course. Uh, it comes in this beautiful box that, you know, it's it's hard to cover. And, and you can read the information in the back. You can go ahead and pause if you would like to read it. Um, but it's essentially the Rainbow Warrior Awaken. It's mostly about, again, positivity. It's about your chakras. It's about... Um, you know, just kind of learning and, and reading within yourself. Um, it is in this, again, beautiful cover. Welcome, dear one. Enjoy your rainbow journey. And it is a magnetic. So it, it you know, kind of closes on its own. Um, it's a little bit of a snap to open. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I love, love this deck. And let me show you the guidebook real quick before I go into the cards. Um, so like I mentioned, it's 44 cards in the deck, but then they are split into three. And essentially you have your color cards, your compass cards, and then your kind of like your message cards. Um, in the book, they are called the quality cards. Uh, so the book, it's it's very comprehensive. It has small writing, meaning there's a lot written in there. Honestly, a lot of the writing here is absolutely gorgeous. The There's a picture there as reference. They, it is in order uh, so that you can follow along. It's split again, color, compass, quality, um, or as I like to call them, the personal cards. Um, so it the book itself tells you what is the difference with each and then it kind of gives you like a suggested reading, um, you know, and it tells you begin with the compass cards, then follow the color cards and then choose the quality card and then kind of get your message from there. Um, and then it has, you know, again, that sample reading that it tells you and then, you know, actually understanding that message. Now, Again, you could ask questions. I don't. I just want to know what my message of the day is. And I, I suppose that is my question. What is my message of the day? These, again, I use as my meditation cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each mini deck. Um, and then I will do a reading and kind of show you how I like to use them, um, which really is the recommended way from the book itself. So... Let's start with the compass cards, then I'll start with the color, and then again, we'll do the quality cards. So these are pretty big. My hands are not that big, uh, but you can tell here they are, you know, quite significant. My nails poking out here, but that, that's about it. They are very big cards. Um, the quality is, you know, it's it's good cardstock. I not it is shiny, glossy. Um, but they shuffle really well. Uh, there isn't that many when it comes to the color cards. This is, again, of course, the back or well, the compass. I keep mistaking compass and color. Compass, color. Got it. Okay. So let's get into the actual cards themselves. Wisdom, Northeast. So again, these are very oriented to the compass, so locations. Um, let me get these out of the way so that they're not distracting. Okay, so we have Wisdom Northwest. And these are not in order. I do use these regularly, so they're not. Nurturing Southwest. Promise Northeast. How beautiful is this, this imagery? 
potency, east. Release, north. Excitement, southeast. Balance, west. Passion, south. So these are the compass cards. So now let's get into the color cards. Colors are essentially the chakras. Sing your love, free your spirit, dance your soul, and speak your truth. And then you have the, the seven chakras here. Beautiful imagery. I'm not going to read them for you guys. I'm just going to flip through them. And if you want to you know, take a closer look at them, you feel free to pause the video. All right, so those are the color cards. And again, those are more geared towards chakra. So then let's go into the expression or the quality cards. Um, so these have a beautiful woman with a phoenix just kind of soaring from her. Um, and again, it's just the imagery in the cards is beautiful. Uh, it has Mara's name here, so I'm assuming she is the one who uh, did the drawings. And again, not in order, but I'm just going to flip through it. If you want to take a closer look at the imagery, feel free to pause the video at any time. love this one oh, this one's one of my favorite ones how interesting it's the same imagery but you have a dolphin and a doe but again it all brings love in the end You know, again, there's times when I'm just like, well, the last card would, of course, have to be completion. So, again, beautiful deck. It's all about positivity. I, I like to meditate with these cards in the morning. I, I like to draw them and, and kind of get my message of the day. And, yeah, it, it's, it's honestly, I love these cards. Um, so... A way to do a reading in this in this deck, um, as suggested per the book, is you know kind of ask your question. So what it says is ask your question, choose your cards, you know place the three decks before you face down in an upside down triangle. So we have the compass at the bottom. So here's our compass. I'm gonna do this one handed. So we have our compass at the bottom. We have the color cards on the top left and the quality cards here. So essentially what I like to do is I, I pick my compass first. So I, I go through, I shuffle, you know, I don't do a lot of very interesting shuffling. Um, again, because these cards are so big, I kind of have to shuffle sideways.
and then I like to actually spread them out this way and just pick a card and I'm gonna pick this one yeah this one so I'm gonna pick nurturing and then I pick the quality card um, again I will shuffle and now you don't have to turn them as you pick a card. I know that people like to you know, either turn them all at the same time. I like to turn them as I get them um, to kind of start getting my, my message across. And I'm getting this one. Intuitive vision. And then the quality card. What is my message of the day? Actually, this one is calling out to me. I'm just going to use that one. Creativity. Isn't this the card that I said that I just love so much? All right. So this is an interesting read for me because, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Right. So let me adjust it so you can really see it. We go. I'm sorry, the light glares right there. Right. So, can you see everything? I don't think you can. Let me let me adjust this. Again, the cards are so big that it's kind of hard to get them all in there. Right. So, it's just gonna do it that way for now. So, what the book tells you is that your your question really or, or how to read this is with nurturing I am intuitive as I express the gift of creativity right so it's kind of like this sentence that if you can see it here so with compass card I am color card as I embody or express the gift of quality card in my life so how would I interpret this reading nurturing intuitive and creativity now this is an interesting selection for me because today I've really been missing my daughter she is hanging out with her grandparents for the week uh, she's on a mini little vacation and I have been feeling just, uh, you know, very motherly. I mean, this to me speaks mother, um, a, a nurturing mother. And I am intuitive. I am I'm feeling that she is also missing me. Right. So I, I have this feeling like when I talk to her, I'm just like, OK, she's upset. She kind of wants to come home and I'm actually going to go pick her up tomorrow. She's not staying the whole week. Uh, we lasted two days, you guys. Um, so, yeah, it's it's yeah, I think this is very interesting. Um, again, very nurturing card followed by my intuition just telling me that she's not having the best time. So I'm going to go get her and then creativity. Um, even though creativity to me means art and, you know, creating things, um, it, it represents or it shows a mom with her little girl and, you know, with a dove, it has a butterfly there, it has the moon, it has a glowing energy flowing from that moon onto this mother and daughter and it, it's just, it's beautiful to me. And again, it just, it kind of, it's that magic that kind of brings in these cards and why I like to use them. Is it giving me a message of you need to do this or, uh, you know, it's, it's it, to me, it's just positive. It's something that I kind of know, um, you know, am I placing it into, into what I think just because, that situation I'm living through, um, you know, I could do 
a reading for anyone, but I think these cards are just, they're meant for me um, as I, as I pick them. Um, and yeah, I, again, I, I don't even know how to describe it, you guys. These cards are amazing. They're always on point. They always speak to me in one form or shape, shape or form. Uh, you know what I mean? I keep saying that, don't I? You do. I know you do. So, yeah. This, again, it's one of my favorite decks. I use it, I don't want to say every morning, but almost every morning as part of my meditation. I, I like to think about this. And, again, I when I do meditate this afternoon, that it will be on my mind. And I will focus on the message that I was given. Oh, I did this wrong, didn't I? I did. There we go. And yeah, beautiful deck. It is found on Amazon if you wish to purchase it. Um, and I did purchase it for almost, I want to say about $30. I think it has the price down here. Yep, yeah, so it was $29.95. Again, I highly recommend this deck. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And to me, it's just so full of energy and positivity. And I highly recommend it.